characteristics of this little orb can be scientifically described with a good deal of accuracy. A couple billion years old now, a composite of gas and dust that resulted mostly from a large chemical reaction long ago, likely an exploding star or supernova. And over millions of years, this dust clustered into relatively big chunks of rock, a pronounced gravitational field emerged, our chemical elements were slowly reorganized and conditions emerged to enable water and an atmosphere, which is what bred the first single-celled organisms. And so went the slow process of mutation into the very amusing circumstance we have today, us. 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 Of course, you're free to believe whatever creation story you like. A rib from Adam, alien cross-pollination, primordial ooze. At the end of the day, the utility of such knowledge is quite small. And in fact, our little monkey brains might never have a complete picture of something so complex. Yet what we do know, what we do know, we do know, we do know, what we do know is that the universe is governed by laws. The universe is governed by laws. Not moral or religious laws, but laws that were around long before we ever evolved a brain to understand them. Laws that very clearly point out that we either adapt to them and respect them, or we suffer the consequences. Such is the true face of God, the laws of nature. Such is the true face of God, the laws of nature. The laws of nature.